In this video, we will have a closer look on how to select objects using different filters. One way is to show product model device occurrence. Then we can press any key to select them all. Now it's possible to change the color of them. As you can see, they are now green. Here we can use property filter by right clicking and going to property filter, we can sort. And in this case, the selected symbol are already in selection. And now we have selected them all. All symbols with the same name are activated. Now let's check out property filter in toolbar. Here we can pick an element from the drawing. And then we select the property or attribute to be filtered. And now we can also select the color. Only green symbols are selected and then we press and. So now only green symbols are selected. And now let's save selection for the electric database tool. Let's check it out in database. Now we have the selection from drawing and mark them all. Now we can select a new product model. Now they have changed in database. Let's refresh and synchronize with the database. And now it's done. Now let's try using attribute values for property filtering. Specification function creates common attributes with row number for all elements. Specification function creates common attribute spriv with a row number. Define attribute to be selected. Selected cable tray type is activated. Now let's also select the cable tray corners. Let's go to property filters and let's add also that row. And now let's press or and also using filter settings with previous command. Activate function and type previous to command line. The selected cable tray type is activated. Now let's use object filter. Only spline objects are selectable when filter is on. Now we can select the entire drawing. And as you can see, only the splines are selected. Let's change color to green. And remember to deactivate filter after use. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us.